Now we're going to be talking about sudden vision loss. Tell me, what do you think? Are you talking about total loss of vision? Oh, very commonly people will come in and all of a sudden one eye goes out and... That would scare me to death. Oh, it's, oh trust me, people call uh, yeah. when, one, when, when one eye goes blind. I can't see. So what are you thinking of when somebody loses vision in one eye? What are you thinking of? So there's three or four things that would be most common. Uh, one we mentioned briefly already, the retinal detachment, uh -huh. so we don't have to talk about that so too that much. So that could cause sudden blindness because yes. the retina is where the vision eventually goes to. Exactly. Okay, so that can be sudden vision loss, retinal yes. detachment. Yeah. So other things we think of, uh, sometimes people can get either a, an artery or a vein that gets clotted off uh, inside the eye. It's similar to what happens in the brain when a stroke happens, uh, but that can happen in the eye, and that can, can cause a sudden... Uh, loss of vision as well. So, if can you detect that? If I lose my eyesight and you find, can you look in my eye and see if it's a blood clot and a blood vessel there? Yes. So, if the, if there's an artery that's been blocked off, when we look back there, the, the retina will actually look white. It looks white because it's gotten swollen and there's not a good blood flow to it. Whoa. Um, that's a giveaway then, looking it, at that. It's pretty easy to diagnose. Um, now, that uh, unfortunately can be devastating. Uh, usually, the studies have shown that if an artery gets blocked off for 90 minutes, then that, that, that damage is permanent. So obviously it's important to be seen quickly. Sometimes there's things you can do. Frequently there, there's nothing to do for that. If a vein gets uh, blocked off, it depends on how big of a vein and how long, uh, but when that happens, blood backs up in the retina. So there's retina uh, blood, uh, or blood in the retina. In so instead of white, it would look bloody red. Yes, uh, uh, that's exactly right. Dark color. And so, is there things that can be done if there's a vein that's blocked off in the eye? So yes, so there's different uh, severities of vein occlusions, and sometimes that will cause uh, some swelling of the retina or new little blood vessels to grow. So there are, there are things that can be done uh, for that. Some people do quite well with vein occlusions, uh, depending on if they're partial or complete, but you've got, you've got to be seen. The amazing part to me is when you're seeing is that you can look back in the eye and you can see little arteries in there, veins in there, and what's happening to them. Um, you said three things. Is that the three? Or well, the third there, one? Uh, another a very common one uh, would be what's called an ischemic optic neuropathy. So that's a big long name, ischemic optic neuropathy. What's that mean? So what that basically is, it's a lack of blood flow to the optic nerve. Uh, in the eye. So there's a nerve that comes in that makes it where we can see? Yes. Okay. And so, and so if we lose blood flow to that, um, you know, obviously that can cause uh, uh, some very severe vision loss. That's important to be seen. There's two main reasons that people would get what's called an ION or this optic neuropathy. Uh, one is something called temporal arteritis uh -huh. or giant cell arteritis. Is two different names for the same thing, and that's an inflammation of blood vessels. Uh, that can be very dangerous systemically for your whole body. People can have other troubles with that, and people with the arteritic uh, form of the, of the ION um, are actually at very high risk for the same thing happening to the second eye, which Whoa. is very devastating. So, so you've got to be seen. It's very easy to diagnose that. What does that look like? So when we look in the eye, the, the optic nerve is swollen. So oh, it's swollen there and you can think of temporal arteritis and then medicine can help cut down the inflammation to the yes. blood vessel. Anything else cause ION, optic neuropathy? Sometimes just some age related things. There's, there's a lot of different other associations, but the main thing you really want to be made sure that you don't have would be the temporal arteritis.